Welcome to another Demarcation Media Mega Constructs review. Today we have once again Flustered's box of customs. And today we are going to be moving on to the third and final row. So we looked at the first two rows and they had some amazing figures. And we are going to finish it off with the last row starting with the first cube, which is this guy right here. As usual, we are starting off with a figure I know nothing about, and I can only suppose it is a Resident Evil figure, uh, because I actually think I recognize this guy, but I really know nothing about him. So he's got the very menacing gas mask face. Like, this is the kind of face you would not want to meet in an alleyway. Like, just... It, it's just frightening. It's just straight up frightening. We've got all the silver on there painted the rims around the eyes are painted then we got this nice look at that it's like a blue strap with bronze edging and then there's even like a little red string on this side some shells in there we've got some shells on his leg there he has a pouch on this side which it has a red print but i think that's official mega i don't think he painted that he is armed with this little submachine gun with it looks like a folding stock i also assume that this is like a, an official mega mold something from call of duty but i could be wrong it looks like he's given it a kind of a wash maybe some silver paint there is some more pouches on this side. And good grief, he's got so many weapons. He's got a little handgun, a revolver, a machine gun around the back, another machine gun. Whew, he is armed up. We've got a symbol on this side, which is molded and then painted. So that's pretty cool to have both. Got some silver edging on the side of the helmet. Uh, oh, it's a silence machine gun around it on his back. And it's covering up some more detail. We have little supply pack looking thing with a red light and the blue straps continue down the back well, that's pretty cool uh again i don't really know much about this figure but it's really hard to go wrong with a black and red combo and then the blue and gold add just enough to break up the whole silhouette it almost reminds me of like an acid rain figure a little bit the way that it's colored but like I said, I'm pretty sure this is a Resident Evil thing. Continuing with the trend of figures, I have no clue who they are. We have this lady here who looks like she's got some military gear on. And so right off the bat, the way that the face is and and the way that it's like framed by the hat and the hair, it's realistic enough that my camera identified it as an actual face. So that's pretty impressive. It doesn't look like the face itself has had a ton done with it. It just looks like your standard mega face, but it's the hair. Look at that. The hair has been molded on and then a hat added on top of it. So that's really well done. She's got kind of a harness looking thing going on as well as a collar, a belt with a radio, a holstered pistol, which that is, I don't think, a usable holster it's just for a look so it's molded in there the gun does not come out knee pads dark green for the the legs the one odd thing i noticed about this figure is that the skin tone for the neck is a bit darker than the skin tone for the actual like skin part so that's a little a little strange but it's very very easily overlooked she's got a knife and a revolver which means she is ready for a fight. And it's just a good figure overall. Again, I don't really know who this is, but the custom itself is well done. I especially like the harness and the collar, like how it actually attaches to the collar and then goes around and actually looks like a belt. That to me just looks really cool. So again... I'm clueless about the character, but I really, really like the way this custom turned out. Next up, we have this police officer looking dude. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice just went completely out the window. Um, once again, I do think this is a Resident Evil thing. I've seen a couple other people do customs similar to this. 
but again, I don't know the name. We've got a face, which the eyes are a little bit scary. Like the way this guy's face is, it does not make me think he's a good guy. He just looks a little too sinister to be a good guy. Now, the very first thing that caught my eye was this symbol on his shoulder. I think that's actually just hand painted on there. If so, that is that is amazing. Look at that. You can easily tell that is a symbol. Looks like a badge. That's wow. Ah, uh, that I have no idea how you even begin to paint something that fine of detail. Oh, he's even got his name on the back of his vest. Wow. The buckles are painted. He's got the RPD. I don't know what the R stands for, but the PD is obviously police department. He's got a grenade, a shotgun, a little fanny pack, a pouch here, and then some painted up bullets here. Oh, and he's got a star on this side. Interesting. Very cool looking figure. Again, don't know the name. That seems to be a trend here, but the custom is very well done. The hair in particular. I really like the way that the hair turned out. Even if this guy does look kind of uh, sinister. Next up we have an Elite Ultra. Now this guy is... Looks like he's based on a Reach Ultra. And his head is a lot bigger than the Mega Constructs one. It's a lot wider. And it's got all the intricate like details on there which i really hope that we get an ultra with this design like all the red on there because that looks really nice eyes are green um so fluster told me that some of these are older customs and i think this is probably one of them because i actually can't move the head it feels stuck on the the neck joint maybe some paint got in there and i don't want to risk breaking the neck so his head is going to stay the direction that it is for now the chest is also custom molded. There's a lot of extra bits added on there. We have more of the red. The shoulders. Are the shoulders even using any of the ultra stuff at all? It kind of looks like it's just straight up custom molded. If it's just straight up custom molded, that's really impressive because it looks very well done. Uh, the paint, it's the, the paint work that's really getting me right here. The the way that the all this red is done is really, really cool. Look, we've got some extra armor on the forearms. Very nice. The legs, the, wow, the knee pads are all changed up. Painted, there's extra bits added on. Then the feet looks like they're normal, but painted up really, really nicely. And then he's got an energy sword, which is just a stock energy sword. Um, and there's also a plasma repeater in there from the Halo Heroes Elite Ultra. That one's also stock. So no customizing there. But yeah, this is instantly recognizable. The detail work is fantastic. The head is a little on the large side, but you get the detail that is needed in having it be larger. So that's that's really cool. I really like this guy, and I really like the fact that I actually know who it is. Well, look who it is. So, in the last video, we looked at a custom of Yego or Domini, the banished Blade Master, and here we have another one. I think this is probably his first one, or at least this is older than the other one, which, let me grab the other one real quick. So, here is the one from the previous video. And here is the current one. This guy, his head is a little smaller. His arm is a little less intricate. And like just overall, he feels a slightly less intricate. But he still looks really, really good. We got the blades here, of course. The cybernetic arm, the silver showing through. The symbol looks like, is that the banished symbol? I get mixed up. There's a banished symbol, and then there's some of those like separate symbols that I don't really know what they are. The shoulder is done really well. There's more red on this guy than the previous one. There's like more red markings. The knees are way more spiky. Look at that. The head is done really well. Once again, custom molding. The spine goes up a little higher on this guy. We've got some red lights. And there's his blood blade. 
This one's just a flat red, but this time it's actually been cut so the middle is empty. So it's more accurate to the game. I definitely think the other version of Jaeger is a little bit more clean, but this one's got an extra bit of like sharpness and menace to him that the other one didn't have. So I think they both really have their their pluses. Look at the face. He's got his little red mandibles and then the black ones. Gosh, it's just a, such a frightening character. Such a frightening character. And we still have yet to get an official one from Mega. By the time Mega gets around to it, there's going to be so many customs that theirs is going to look lame. Here's another character that I know. This is Link, the hero of the wild. I have been wanting Mega to do a Link for a long time, and they have really probably n no plans of ever doing such a thing. Link and Cloud are my two, like, dream figures if mega did official well done versions of those two characters i would be the happiest fan ever so right now there is no official link which means customs are the only option and this one is pretty good so the face the face is link's kind of instantly recognizable feature and i would say here that it's close it looks more like a realistic interpretation of link as opposed to a direct from the game version uh mainly i say that because he's missing the two little strands of hair that go down in these like little spikes that's kind of one of his major defining features at least in breath of the wild but he's got his little ears which is pretty cool he's got kind of the ponytail and then the rest of the hair is done really well just those missing little spikes of hair are are kind of it, it changes the look of his face but we've got the the hero's tunic the what is it the tunic of the wild i think that's what this one is the the white and blue this is his default well not i don't want to say default because his default look in breath of the wild is just like his underwear this is like the flagship outfit i guess that's a better way to put it um so he's got all the white detailing, all the straps and belts that Link always wears. He's got a cape. This looks like just a hunter's cape, maybe. Doesn't look like there's a ton that was done with it. Molded little pouch, which which is perfect because Link also has a bunch of pouches attached to all of his straps. And then he's got his sword arm guard. And then he's got a master sword. This is this and the Hylian shield here are made to fit Lego figures. Uh, I think I've seen them being sold various places online. But they work quite well here for a Mega Constructs figure. And then, of course, we've got his boots. And I think that Flustered added the kind of folded down leather on the boot tops, which is pretty cool. So, overall, very, very cool figure. There's definitely some rubbing in spots. And, like I said, the... Um, Having the hair spikes would have made him more recognizable, but still, I think this is pretty impressive. And last but not least, we have Samus. Look at this. <clears throat> and last but not least, we have the bounty hunter herself, Samus Aran. Look at this. I think this is her Metroid Dread outfit. And this is really impressive. This is actually, uh, when I first got the box of customs, uh, this was the first figure that I picked out of the box and was just like, how? Look, we got the spine, we got her jet thrusters, all the, a, a lot of the, the detail work here is actually painted on, which is really impressive. And then the helmet, whoops, I'm not sure like what the base of the helmet was or if it's just completely all just sculpt but it looks really good it's quite large but that kind of fits the mega constructs um aesthetic her shoulders wait a minute i just realized her shoulders are plasma grenades that is genius that's actually genius 
And then she's got her cannon on her arm, which does bend a little bit. Uh, yeah, it can rotate a little bit. And then it's got a peg on the end. So let me grab... Look at that. She can actually be shooting. How cool is that? This is another character that I would absolutely love to see Mega do officially. I feel like they could do her so well. Look at that. That's really, really cool. I think I like this one even better than Link. Um, I like Link as a character a little bit better, but I just think this one turned out, this custom turned out really, really nicely. And that's also a really cool uh, outfit, just the color scheme. And again, the blue returns. That's that's something we've seen a lot is this blue kind of color. And it just looks really, really good. Look at that. Now we just need some Metroids. That's really cool. Oh, we've got a sculpted chest plate too. Samus is a always this strange mix of really really skinny and also super bulked up and i think this is a perfect way to do the character as mega constructs well there you have it that is the third and final row of the box of customs and once again we have a really just amazing amount of work right in front of us i mean the the sheer amount of dedication put into painting these figures is amazing. I definitely think my favorites are these two right here. Samus because it just turned out really, really good. And I think the plasma, plasma grenade shoulders is pure genius. And then this guy just looks really, really cool. Really menacing. The small details on him is great. Uh, just very well done. Round of applause for Flustered. And a huge thanks for allowing me to review these figures this has been a great little series and i'm definitely looking forward to reviewing more of his customs in the future thanks so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and consider subscribing and i'll see you next time